Hi there everyone and welcome to the seventh tutorial in the Sound for Beginners tutorial series and in this video we're going to create our very first command. Now for this command we're going to need three things. The first thing is an include and this include is called strlib and it is made by Westy. So you're going to google strlib version 1.3 you're going to go to the download uh, file here right click on it and save it in your includes directory in your Pona directory in your sam directory you then include it the same way you include asam but you replace the name of course but then you are going to give it a comment this is going to make it possible for us to manipulate strings we're then going to have two colors now the colors that I'm going to have uh, is red and green so the first one is going to be defined as color underscore green and we're going to use the hex prefix we're then going to use two values for red and it's going to zero be zero because we're going to have a green color but the one, next ones are going to be ff because we want full green we then want no blue and then we want 88 on transparency. We then do the red one. We then save and compile. Everything works. So now I'm going to introduce you to the callback that we're going to use. And the callback that we're going to use is on player command text. Now this is going to be called whenever a player does a command. Now command is defined as something with a slash and then a string afterwards so it could be like slash help or slash my command or whatever so when a player does a command the on player command text is going to save the player's ID as well as the command written now this is something new and this is an if statement and basically what an if statement is if this within the parentheses of the if statement is true it's going to execute this code block now str compare is a new function and what this is going to do it's going to compare two strings the first string is this one the second string is this, is this one we then have two optional parameters the first optional parameter if if we want it to be case sensitive or not so that's if big or small letters is going to be taken into account. We then have a length and this is how many characters in the string it's going to compare. So if we were to do 5 for instance, if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then my command and my commander would be the same thing. Both the case as well as the length is optional so I'm going to remove that one and then you can see here that we have two equal signs and in conditional statements with which an if statement is you always have to have two because if we w were to have one we would actually initialize and give this function zero and that wouldn't do any good we also have less than greater than not equal to and equal to of course you can also do an exclamation mark before a function this is the same as equal to zero so this is going to say if this function equals zero or give us false then this code will execute now the command that I'm going to do is slash dice and this is going to roll a dice so the first thing I'm going to have to do is to in initialize a new variable for this and the variable is going to be dice number and the dice number is going to be equal to a new function which is called random and this is going to take six random numbers and this is actually going to start at zero so what we're going to do is to add a one to it so now it's going to go from one to six instead what we're then going to do is to actually create a string for this one so this is going to be str dice number and it is going to have a maximum amount of two characters and then we're going to use a function called vol str now what this is going to do this is going to have a destination as well as a value the destination is going to be this 
string that we created and the value is going to be the actual dice number and we're then going to send a client message we're going to send to the player ID who wrote the command we're going to use the green color and what we're going to use now is one of the str lib functions and this one is str underscore replace the first parameter is actually uh, the first parameter is what we want to search for we want to search for dice number and then we're going to replace it with something and the one we're going to replace with is str dice number so that's why we want to have valstring because valstring is going to turn uh, S or actually it's going to uh, put the dice number in this string called uh, str dice number we're then going to search for dice number in the string and we're going to replace the dice number uh, string with the actual number and we're then going to finish off this with a sentence you rolled and then we're going to do a hashtag and then the actual dice number so now it's going to take uh, this text here, dice number, since we added this here it's going to replace it with the actual dice number which first was an integer but then was stored using Valstrong str as a string so this is going to whenever the uh, player does slash dice it's going to say you rolled and then the dice number and the return statement is going to signal to the command that the command was executed properly so then it's not going to give any errors and since you cannot have any code below a return statement this return zero is not going to be executed if the return zero would be executed then you would actually give an error and it would say that this command does not exist on this server and lastly we're going to learn a new function and this is a loop and the loop that we're going to use is a for loop and basically you just write the keyword loop you have two parentheses and a body now the first thing we have to do is to initialize a new variable I'm going to call this one player and we're going to loop through all of the players IDs and it always starts at zero so I'm going to initialize it to zero I'm then going to have a condition because the for, for loop always have one variable, a condition, and then an increment. Now the com condition will be if player is less than max players, and we always end it with a semicolon except the last one, and the last one is going to increment it. So if you do two pluses, this is going to add one to it all the time. Hello or all the time it's run uh, now what we're going to do instead of player ID when we send the client message we're going to do player instead and the color is going to be the red one we're then going to do the same as above however it's going to say instead of you it's going to say someone rolled and then the dice number actually and then it's going to return one and signal that everything works so now if we save this and compile let's see right we actually forgot one uh, or two parentheses here we now save and compile and now we got no errors so now what I'm going to do is to check this in game and see if it works. Now if we go in game and do slash dice, you can see that it says you rolled number four and it also says in red that someone rolled four. If we do it over again, now it says five and now it says one, two and so forth. So it actually works. So that's it for this tutorial so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one